we all know that wire is used to pull the data from salesforce to your lwc component and as well as connected callback is also used to pull the data from salesforce to the lwc component but in what conditions do we use wire and in what conditions do we use connected callback in this video we are going to thoroughly understand in what conditions do we use connected callback versus when do we use wires but let's first of all, first of all let's understand the code that i have written so <clears throat> okay so what i've done is i have created a wire and imperative.html file which i have inserted over here inside the home page so let's go through the code so what i've exactly have done is i have created a lightning input okay and on change of this lightning input uh, and on entering the value of this uh, lightning input handle change is usually works okay and inside handle change what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to insert the value inside the variable called as this dot my name so if i put inside the input box if i put value as test the value of this dot my name variable would be also test now this dot my name variable is by default kept as new so the variable value is by default kept as new now whenever the component will be reloaded wire and connected callback is going to run but right now i've commented the connected callback but let's understand wire first so what i'm trying to do is as soon as the component will be reloaded this dot my name my name which uh, i have created a variable okay whose value by default is new will get passed to this wire method that is nothing but calling wire method okay which is actually making a call to the apex class method that is a wire and imperative controller and the get account method inside this let's say the name which i am going to pass it as a parameter which will be new right now okay i am passing name colon new inside as a parameter as a, in the inside the wire method so now what it's going to do is this method is going to return the account with the name new only one account with the name new so basically it's going to return this particular account okay by default it's going to do it okay and as soon as it is done okay as soon as it finds the data it, it will find the account and as soon as the it finds the account the name of the account will be assigned to this show data variable and this show data variable i am showing it on the screen as you can see so whatever i will find as soon as the component will be reloaded what's it what it is going to do is it, it is going to pass the new as a parameter to this wire method and it's going to pull the account with the name new and this account name will be populated inside this dot show data which will be shown on the screen that is the same case with the connected callback as well again i'm going to make a call out to the calling wire i'm passing the parameter this dot my name which is new by default and as soon as i find the data i'm assigning to the this dot show data variable now let's understand what is the basic difference between wire and connected callback so now as you can see right now what, I, what has happened is i did not type anything yet okay by default the value was new hence what had happened is it made a call out and it found out the account with the name new and it is showing over here itself now i have commented the connector callback and i just kept the wire okay so just i have just kept the wire now i'm going to change the name to something else let's say i'm going to change the name to gaurav okay if i type it over here the name over here is as well changed as gaurav so what happened is i put gaurav over here as soon as i put the gaurav over here okay so this dot my name also got populated with name as gaurav and automatically as soon as i made change to this value wire automatically get called okay wire automatically got called okay as soon as this dot my name was changed it was changed to goro and automatically wire got called it get called it got basically got called and then it brought the data with the name goro and assigned it to the show data variable so if you want i can just show you that wire automatically got called as soon as i made change to these values okay first the wire will get executed hence the component is reloaded as okay fine okay first the value is new i'm going to change it to goro again the wire got called you see again the wire got called automatically as soon as i change the value so what exactly over here is ap happening is that as soon as you change the value of a reactive property property right now in our case the reactive property was this dot my name that is my name variable which was acting as a reactive property inside the wire the wire automatically gets called okay so whenever you are going to make a change to the reactive property the wire will automatically get called this means it's going to bring you the most fresh data as soon as you're going to change the value 
it's going to bring you the most fresh data to your LWC component. So in case if you want the most fresh data, okay, the most recent and the fresh data inside your LWC component, that's where you use wire. Another way to look into it is that let's say you are passing a parameter, okay, that we are passing, we are also passing a parameter. Now, if you know the value of this parameter is going to change at runtime, okay. Now, if if it is going to change at runtime, if we are passing it as a parameter, and based on that parameter, we have to get another values as well. So then in this cases, we should be able to get the freshest data again. So in that cases also, we use where. So basically, in terms, if your parameter that you are going to pass, if its value is going to change constantly, or if its value is going to change. In that cases, you use wire so that you get the most freshest data to your LWC component. So let's see what happens in the case of connected callback. I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to uncomment the connected callback. If, if you see over here, even inside the connected callback, I'm passing this dot my name as a parameter. So I'm going to just refresh this component. Okay, first it's new. I'm going to pass Cora over here. If you see, the value did not change at all. And the reason is because connected callback does not bring you the most fresh data. Connected callback will only execute once. It will bring you the fresh data. It will bring you the data that you want. And after that, that's it. The connected callback won't execute, even though if you are making changes to the parameter. So whenever you want the most fresh data to your LWC component, Whenever you, are, uh, you want the fresh data to your LWC component, that's where you use wire. But if you don't want it, that's where you use connected callback. In simple terms, if your parameter value is going to change constantly, right now if you see the parameter, that is the label, that is basically this dot my name, if its value is going to change, if it, as it is an input box, the value is of course going to change. And if the value is going to change, in such cases, we use wire to bring the most freshest data. But let's say if you are parameter that you are going to pass is constant right now let's say my name is also can be acted as a, uh, also as a constant if i did not have input box my name could act as a constant if your parameter that you are going to pass the parameter that you are going to pass over here okay if it's going to stay constant it's not going to ch change with the runtime in that case is you can use connected callback but if it's going to change that's where you, you are going to use wire so next thing that I'm going to explain is the order of execution of wire and connected callback. And if you already know about it, I would tell you to skip this video. But if you do not know, stay stick to it. I'll explain you how it works. So let's say if I have wire and the connected callback, both of them. Okay. And I'm going to just remove these alerts. Okay. So if you see what I'm trying to do is I have a wire and the connected callback both of them are making call to the same apex class only that is calling wire so if you see calling wire or both of them wire and the connected callback both of them are making call to the same apex class only so now inside the wire first what it's going to happen is uh, as soon as we make a call out first outside if wire is going to execute okay and as soon as we find the data we go inside uh, alert inside if wire as soon as we find the data only then okay next Inside the connected callback, I have outside method connected callback. Okay, this is the method that I have outside connected callback. Okay, as soon as that is done, inside as soon as we make a call out and if you find the data, I'm making inside method connected callback. So if I don't have the data outside, outside in the both wire and connected callback, if I as soon as I find the data, I will go inside inside the connected callback or inside the wire. So let's reload this component and see what executes first. So first you see outside wire got executed. First of all, the wire got executed. That is clear. Okay. So as soon as your component was reloaded, first of all, wire got executed, but outside wire dot got executed. Okay. Next, let's click on okay. Then outside connected callback got executed. Okay. Outside connected callback got executed. Next, let's see 
outside if wire again wire got executed so first wire got executed then connected callback then wire again got executed okay then we also went inside the if wire so if we found the data we found the data successfully inside the wire and that's why that's where we went inside the if wire as well and then at the end we went inside the connected callback as well so if you see right now what has happened is first i will just open a new one okay first what happened is wire got executed okay first outside wire got executed then connected callback got executed sorry for my spelling but just time to do it faster so outside again we went outside then again wire got executed we went first outside and again wire got executed we went inside and again connected callback get executed we went inside the connected callback okay so if you see right now what has happened is first we went over here outside if wire then we went outside the connected callback then again the wire got executed we executed this first then this inside the if wire and finally we executed this okay why did this happen why exactly did this happen so let's understand the order of execution or the life cycle hook of lwc see what happens is first of all as soon as i reload the component first of all the component is created inside the dom okay it's not connected to the dom yet but it is just created inside the dom so let's say i'll just explain you with the diagram okay i'm going to extend it so let's say this is my dom okay and this is my component okay this is let's say okay mm, i'm going to call this as my component okay let's consider this as my component okay i'm going to rename it as c and this as my dom i'm going to name it as dom okay now as soon as what happens is component is reloaded first of all the constructor gets called okay by default this is what happens the constructor got called where the component is just created yet it's not connected to the dom but just created it just exists within the life cycle hook okay so as soon as the constructor is created after that if you saw the order of execution first the wire got executed after that immediately so wire got executed but if you see the component is not yet connected to the dom okay if the component is independent of the dom itself so it did not find any data at all that's why we stayed outside the if wire only we were not able to find any data at all okay because the component that we the component that we just created inside the constructor it's not yet connected to the dom hence wire got executed but it did not find any data at all okay let's move on to the next part what happens is once the wire got executed then the connected callback got executed if you saw even in our case connected callback got executed uh, which were executing the outside part okay here what happens is inside the connected callback we all know the component whatever we create it gets connected to the dom sorry for my drawing actually my i don't know my laptop is going crazy okay let's say this component is connected to the dom sorry for my diagram but still uh, it, i think so it's self explanatory the component is yet connected to the dom now as soon as the component is connected to the dom this is where the connected callback gets executed if you see this is where the actually the connected callback get executed and that's the reason why we were executing the outside component that the outside part still inside the connected callback we don't have data and hence we executed outside con method connected callback and as soon as the connected callback executes first it brings the data from the parent component and then it executes the child component as first as soon as the connected callback gets executed it's first going to execute the parent component that is in our case would be lightning element okay as it extends the lightning element the parent of all the components is a lightning component lightning element so first it's going to bring the data from the lightning element okay so inside the connected callback you still don't have the data but inside the wire you automatically get the data okay and that's the reason why what is going to happen is after the connected callback gets executed again the wire gets executed sorry again the wire gets executed okay as soon as the wire gets executed over here sorry the wire uh, as soon as the wire gets executed now if you see before the connected callback uh, was executed here the component and the uh, the dom were connected together as they are connected 
we will have the data inside the wire. So after the connected callback, again wire gets executed and as the component component is connected to the DOM now, we will have the data inside the wire. Okay, that is the reason why if you see first wire got executed where it did not have any data after the constructor, then the connected callback got executed where it connected to the DOM, but it still did not have data because it was still bringing the data from the parent. Then wire got executed. Now, still if the wire or connected callback it's still bringing the data from the parent to the child wire gets executed and then wire will have automatically have the data okay wire will automatically have the data because the execution from parent to child of the connected callback is completed so wire will have the data hence wire went inside as well to show the data so inside the wire we have the data but still after that the connected callback gets executed and inside the connected callback as it has brought the data from parent to the child we are executing the connected callback again which is inside the connected callback this means we have the data inside the connected callback as well so in simple terms wire got executed okay which did not have any data till this point after that the connected callback got executed inside the connected callback the con component is inserted inside connected to the DOM. that's where the connected callback gets executed but still it does not have data it's still bringing the data from the parent to the child as soon as it executing from parent to child it has data now but after that wire gets executed wire has now as soon as uh, the connected callback that is the component is connected to the dom now wire has the data hence wire got executed first with the data and after that the connected callback got executed with the data so if you want the data faster this is the practical theory okay if you want the data faster you use wire okay if you see wire has the data before the connected callback okay even we have inside if wire and inside uh, connected callback inside part of the wire got executed first as compared to that of the connected callback so in this case if you want the data faster that's where you use wire versus using the connected callback so there are two important parameters that i've talked in this video one is nothing but if your parameter is going to constantly change you use wire and if you want data faster you use wire instead of connected callback with a very practical example so this was a brief introduction of wire versus connected callback. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.